So when will these be ready? Um, a month or so maybe. I mean, it's kind of done. <laughs> boys and girls so new video new blaster for a lot of people some people may have heard of this seen this posts a leapers It's designed, um, this particular one is printed and built by Jack Rabbit Nerfer. You may have seen some posts about it, in, mostly on Facebook, I think, various um, Nerf pages. Too bad. Um, yeah, so essentially, it's a uh, grip, mag fed, only takes talons right now. Uh, quite tight because it's just a friction fit little full auto uh, pistol um, so let's get into it then um, start off grip it's quite nice it's quite chunky obviously because it's got to fit a mag up inside it um, could do with some finger, I can't remember what you call them, bits here, but if you look here, there's not really much space for it. Um, exposed tr switches, which I know a lot of people who have seen this um, have commented about. It's not an issue at all. Um, I pull these, but I've got the battery. See, so yeah, typical rever. Uh, the pusher um, yeah this exposed switches it's not an issue at all until they get they can get caught on things um, so I have got what well, I haven't got there is a holster which I'm waiting on um, <clears throat> but yeah the only issue with the exposed triggers um, switches is them getting caught on things and potentially ripped or bent out um, other than that it's not an issue but I know that when he gets a chance he's very busy doing things like designing things full-time job kids life um, if when if when he gets round to doing um, updates there are pla he, he has thought, is thinking of putting a cover. Anyway, let's move on from the switches. I've gone on that too long. Um, <clears throat> so, to open the back, or open the whole top, this top yellow section here comes off with a screw. Um... I need to chop this down, I think it's quite long. Put this somewhere where I don't lose it. And then the top just lifts off. You've got it's just the inside, you've got a little lumpy bit there, which is just to keep the pusher down. Um, put that one on there as well. <coughs> so inside. So you've got space for your battery. Takes the worker hurricane wheels. Um, the cage essentially is just this top piece. Um, 
I mean, it should be hitting around one, 100 to 120. <clears throat> it's just mainly designed for QCB, close combat when you're in the ship, like jams, in between reload, sidearm. <clears throat> um, yeah, so it's it's not meant for high FPS like the Woozy um, gets. I think it's 150, isn't it? Something like that, but that's dual stage. But the whole idea of this that Dan came up with was for it to just be for, you know, close range kind of encounters, let's call it. <coughs> Apparently this has got a smaller footprint than a Woozy. I couldn't tell you because I don't have one. So, yeah, close range. Oh, stop. I'm not letting you out right now. I'm doing this. Um, so, factory, like I said, you got your third switch for the pusher. The pusher, just... Yeah, that's the pusher. Um, cool little whirly gig. You've got a little PCB in here. I don't really know what that does. I, I mean, obviously, it controls everything. I this is is it on my spit? Yeah. I don't know if that'll come up. This is number one that Dan built for a customer. Um, he's just doing them in small batches of three at the moment on his Etsy. Links to his Etsy and Facebook page, Instagram, Thingiverse. It'll all be, you know, in the old description. <coughs> Aesthetically, it does what it does, you know. The original design was meant to be like a Mac 10 or Uzi, but obviously the Woozy kind of has that like aesthetic, like down. Um, the original design was literally the grip and a box, which Dan got a lot of flack for from some people. I wasn't one of those. Did you do a video on that one? Can you like, make a point about the little box? No, <laughs> just, just drop it in there. Drop it, it's a little box. So, so the, box. it is ugly, but that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. That's, that's, the, the, that's the improved one. <laughs> that's it's still ugly. <laughs> I love it. Um, I want one. I would like to make a video about this. Two boxes. I do, I do. Yeah, I mean, it's boxy itself, yeah. but I like it. <laughs> But it worked. The concept of it all worked, and then he just went went away, redesigned it, did some tweaks, and we've ended up with this. The Lepus, let's say, XTT. I don't know what that stands for. That one says Mark One on that side. XTT on that side. Mark One on that side. And I got my serial number. I asked for on that. Um. Yeah. It's awesome sauce. Uh, excuse me. Firing demo. Okay, so, um, I'm not shooting outside because it's been absolutely hammering it down all night and it looks like it's just started to rain again. Um, so, we'll just shoot just down here. It's literally probably about 10 20 feet at most um so we've got the old lepacy a talon mag there's about i think i put 17 there's worker darts and a couple of accs in there right let's get at it um we'll just do a few going to do a full auto test so as you can see just single firing is possible double tapping or just two is possible now let's see how long it takes to empty a full mag here we go <laughs> Oh, 
It helps if you have decent darts that don't lose their heads and get stuck. I'll go with that one. Right, we'll try this again because that was the dart, not the blaster. Because these are old worker gen twos mostly. Well, they're from that period where they were. Oh, let's wait. What's the cat doing? Just go for some water. Right, let's try again. <coughs> Full mag in, what was that, like a second? So. Ah, another lost head. Ah, oh, the head's there, though. Okay, so, a quick chronograph thing, not going to be particularly scientific, what's this going to do? So, I've gone for an ACC, a white, a yellow, then a green worker, and then a black tipped ACC, first one was grey, um, and then a white, yellow, and green, so it's only eight shots, but just to give you an idea, I've got to try and single this over the thing. So I was at a weird angle there, but it says rounds per minute on the bottom there as well. So, let's try once more. Just trying to single it is an absolute bum off. What was that saying there? Go away. Okay, let's try again, shall we? Houston, we have a problem. Battery on the camera's about to go as well. Uh, no, it's still going. Ah, I see what the issue is. We just... There we go. Oh! Another thing I should have mentioned, um, I don't know if you can see in there, I've had to bend that switch on because the design of the little whirly gig thing, I don't know, remember what the name is, I've been told, um, but the design of it at the moment means it doesn't quite push the um, switch back um, long enough, so it just, I think it's called runaway. It just keeps just keeps going basically so i spoke to dan he said oh yeah you just need to um bend that uh switch arm out like that um he is gonna redesign it so i guess just make it so it adds a bit more material on the back there that lumpy bit um yeah but that's just something i should have mentioned earlier but it's an easy fix if you've got the early design um, not an issue. Let's stand back up. Um, it's a bit annoying. Well, it was annoying at first, but you know, like I said, it was an easy fix. Come on. And you do need to have the top piece back on before you start firing, because the I'm just going to call it the the pusher, we'll call it the pusher, um, will tend to, sorry Rev, will kind of go whoop and come flying off otherwise. That was all of it. No it wasn't. Right, last shot. So, 
there you can see it's getting a, you know mid to high 90s lows of you know whatever the lows were 70s um yeah and then it said like a hundred and something rounds a minute which converted to rounds a second pff, your guess is as good as mine it doesn't come up with that kind of data i do have a lego di chronograph um i just need to program the arduino but i haven't gotten around to downloading all the software and stuff um but yeah that so that's a little bit of crony data for you so having spoken to jack rabbit um about this at a bit more detail um possible um updates for the future are making it katana fed um but that's going to involve not just redesigning this but on the inside it's going to need redesigning as well like where it comes up and these bits here um, I believe will need repositioning or readjusting um, people have asked if it will um, if a flywheel the world version will be available um, again it's a lot of redesign because of the way that the motors and wheels sit um, it's very it's probably going to be a lot more work and that probably won't happen to be honest with you the katana version there's every chance i use mostly katanas i have like 25 katanas and katana variants i have like four talons which i literally bought for this um but yeah the flywheel of the world because the hurricane mo uh, wheels they sit like normal wheels over the motor whereas the flywheel the world wheels i believe sit on top so this whole section here is going to have to be redesigned to fit those um so yeah i don't know if that will actually happen but the katana version is i'm going to push for it let's put it that way <laughs> um so if you buy these pre-built by um Dan himself, they will come with Jackrabbit motors, they're like his motors that he's sourced um, from somewhere, we don't know where, and he's named them Jackrabbit motors. There is the possibility of it being um, sold pre-built by other people, but I don't know if or when that's actually going to happen. I couldn't tell you what uh, motors they'll use, but they'll they have to use these wheels, the Hurricane wheels. You've got the, I think there's the smooth and the serrated ones. Um, these have the, this one has the serrated ones. Um, so yeah, I've been with, followed this project quite closely. i um, been excited for it. I nearly got a woozy and then Dan pulled his finger out and got this out. Messaged me literally a few weeks before me making the final decision. Huh. Um, yeah. So... Yeah, I don't know if he's going to do hardware kits. I should check his Etsy. If you check his Etsy, yeah, I highly recommend it. I mean, from the guys that have used this and have one at part of my group, they all love it. Um, it's, yeah, it's just a fun little thing. That's going to be an absolute bitch to cut together but so yeah that's the lepus um i definitely recommend getting one um it's it's so much fun so much fun um like i said links in the description for all of jack rabbit um jack rabbit nerfer i think is like his full title he uses on all the stuff links all below any other links for purchasing and stuff i'll put below as they become available um what else links to my instagram will be below 
um, subscribe, like, comment, um, ring my bell, and yeah, I think that's it. I really wish I still had a mag, I only brought one in, I said I've only got a couple. Cat does not look impressed, but then she's looking at the dog, the dog's looking at me, and I'm looking at the cat.